There's an added pressure in playing Davis Cup that is difficult to explain. You're playing for your team, you're playing for your country. Um, it's a whole new ball game. You know, 1990 was, uh, was a good year for, for us. Um, you know, I played uh, uh, with Andre and uh, Rick Leach and Jim Pugh, and uh, we had a very tough tie in, in Austria uh, in the semifinals. And, you know, I came out and, uh, and played against uh, Scoff in that final match, and uh, he was just, you know, just on fire. You know, just uh, the crowd was behind him and, you know, lost the first two sets. and. Um, able to squeak out the uh, the third set and then uh, you know able to, to get through uh, uh, the fourth set and the fifth set uh, I actually was cramping in the last the last game just from the tension you know that ended up to be uh, be huge for us to, to get through that that semifinal time even though the Austrian crowd in the semis was against me the atmosphere was still pretty electric um, obviously it's nice to be able to have you know the crowd behind you. Uh, you know in St. Petersburg, it was great to have the crowd behind you. Um, but regardless, just to have a crowd of that many people just be so into you know a match that you're playing is is uh, is a great feeling. You know Davis Cup provides that kind of a, a unique atmosphere, and um, you know one of the reasons why I think you know many players uh, maybe don't play as well you know during the regular tour, but come Davis Cup, they're just their game just elevates to a whole new level because they're just uh, so cheered on by uh, by their home country. To know that uh, you know you're able to come through and and uh, and win something as special as the Davis Cup as a team it was a good feeling to finally be back in the winner's circle. USA Davis Cup champions. For us to uh, to play against the Swedes and in in, uh, in Gothenburg was was very very tough. You know, unfortunately, Pete got hurt in that first uh, that first rubber, and um, you know, it kind of set the stage for for the rest of the uh, of the tie. Um, you know, Magnus had played some great tennis against Pete all year. Uh, you know, did it again at uh, that first uh, rubber, and uh, you know, Jonas played some some exceptional tennis against me, and um, and they were able to close us out. Uh, you know, three straight uh, matches. Um, so it was a it was a tough tie for us, and uh, you know, start one that we certainly would have liked to have had back. Davis Cup is very special because, you know, throughout every other time of the year, um, we're just competing for ourselves. And, you know, between Andre and Pete and, and Jim Courier, I mean, we've known each other for such a long time. But I think for us to come out and kind of come out and play together on a team, it was, it was almost to some degree kind of um, kind of a good feeling because it's kind of like, hey, I don't, have to, I don't have to fight against you this week. You know, just, you know, you're on my team and we can work together and uh, it, it brings a different kind of uh, element, I think, to, uh, to the sport of tennis. And, um, you know, I think one reason why uh, in many, many aspects, you know, Davis Cup is embraced the, in the way that it is.